It's another night of chaos that leads to yet another closure of the 6th Street Bridge. This has become a site for things like destructive burnouts, dangerous crashes, and even wild stunts that have been captured on social media. The bridge had to be shut down again last night for the second night in a row. KTLA 5's Gene Kang is live at the Viaduct in downtown LA with the very latest this morning. Gene. Good morning, Mark and Lynette. As you see here, the 6th Street Bridge is back open this morning, but we've been driving along it, as you see in this area. This is a live look from Drive 5. Look at these folks doing a U-turn in the middle of the bridge, as well as people parked here, which is illegal. We even saw someone in the median also taking some Instagram videos with a drone. So this is the kind of criminal activity that police are looking out for. They say they're going to be out in full force, but so far this morning, we drove the bridge from one end to the other, we have not seen one police officer. However, that could change. As you see here, a lot of folks uh, causing some problems this morning. Well, LAPD has cracked down on crime by handing out tickets. They warn that they will be out in full force. The bridge has attracted everything from speeding cars and street takeovers to people climbing the bridge, crowds with people taking selfies, and more unwanted criminal activity. This is the second time in a row that LAPD closed the 6th Street Bridge for several hours. Some neighbors are upset. They demand people respect the bridge. They were out here with signs the other day and welcome help from police to keep this area safe. They really are out in full force. Motorcycles, cars, even on foot. It's a shame the citizens of Los Angeles County don't have more civic pride for the feat of engineering that's taken place behind them. Well, in some of the strangest behavior we've seen so far, someone got a haircut in the middle of the street with traffic going by. That was the other day. Angelinos are very upset at how people are treating the new $588 million bridge that connects Boyle Heights to downtown LA. And so far, LAPD closed it after a crash on the bridge. A car hit a pickup truck that was parked in a no park zone. That was the first time around. Then police and residents say they're now on alert because of these situations. Uh, they now close it because of street takeovers and other criminal activity. People climbing the bridge, which is extremely dangerous. LAPD says they closed the bridge for several hours and they're going to continue to do that after they've seen these dangerous pranks. A lot of situations that have gone wrong. Now, uh, back out here live, uh, as you see, we've driven along the 6th Street Bridge. We're going to take a look all morning long and also talk about possible solutions from police and elected officials. More on that coming up new in the 7 o'clock hour. Back to you in the studio. You know, Gene, we, we saw in your live shot just a second ago, people are still pulling all over on the side of the bridge right now. And I, th I think we saw several people on those arches, correct? Yeah, we've seen, so as we're going through our live shot, you just saw us, we actually spanned the bridge going from one end to the next. Um, as you mentioned, yes, there were people that were actually on the side of the bridge, very dangerous, starting to go up the arches as well. What's happening is that because it is such a beautiful attraction, uh, people want to take those viral videos or, you know, pictures for Instagram, but that's becoming a problem. It's, it's a crime. And also, it is illegal to park on the bridge. I think we saw about a dozen cars, pickup trucks, just parked there, people walking in the middle as well. So that's going to be a big problem.